Hello boys and girls and welcome back to Kids Draw for Fun. Today we're going to continue with the uppercase letters where we learn to do the uppercase N. And we got a really cool one for you today. We're going to learn to draw a narwhal because N is for narwhal. Here we go. First things first, get your pencil, find your point on the left side of the page, pick your point and we're going to pull it straight down and stop. Then we'll go back up to the top and we're going to slide down diagonally or a slanted line all the way to the bottom and stop. And then from there, that same point, we're going to go straight back up to the top line, okay? Pretty simple, again. Now, let's go up to the writing lines and see how we do. Find your point on the top of the line. Let me slide this over a little bit. On the top of the line and pull straight down to the bottom line, like that. Go back up to the top line and we're gonna Slide down diagonally on a slanted line to the bottom line again. And then we're gonna just go straight up from there. There it is, the uppercase N. Let's do it one more time together and then you could try it once on your own. Top line, straight down. Top line, slide down diagonally and then bottom line straight up. Okay, now's the time to hit the pause button so you could try the last one on your own. And here is my last one. Straight down, slide down, straight up. Okay, so that's it, that's the uppercase N. Now, let's learn to draw a narwhal. So the shape of a narwhal is very similar to a big whale. It's round up top by the face, and then the end by the tail is kind of skinny and pointy. Unic. Looks like it has a big unicorn horn coming out for its nose, believe it or not. So let's see what we can do and see how it looks. We're going to make it big and round right here and then pointy down here by the tail. All right, and then the horn will be coming out this way. So we're gonna start up here and make a big round curved line and we're gonna bring it down just like that. Okay, it's like a big arc, okay? Then we're gonna do the one side of the tail, which will be a little arc and then it reminds me of like the dolphin tail that we did for D, for the letter D, if you remember that. Then we're gonna come out this way and then we'll do another shape like that. Now we're gonna make this part connect up here, but we're gonna leave a little gap right before we start so that we can add the horn right there. Follow me very carefully, go nice and slow. If you need to pause it, that's perfectly fine. We're gonna stop right there, actually. This will be where we add a little flipper on the side. Just like that. And then we're gonna continue this line, but we're not gonna go through the flipper. We're gonna go on the other side of it. And we're gonna Go right here, round it up to where it could connect, but stop right there, okay? This is where we're gonna add the unicorn type horn, all right? And we are going to pick a little spot, a little line right below it, 
and do a little curved line, okay? And then from there, we're gonna go straight out and then straight back down and connect to the bottom part of that line. It almost looks like a little party hat that the Norwal is wearing, all right? Now, the belly is going to be two different colors. It's gonna be darker up top and lighter on the bottom. So I'm gonna take a skinnier pen and just draw a little line. Again, kind of like the dolphin's belly that we did. It's lighter on the bottom, okay? And then for the eyeball, make it a big round eyeball. And let's see, we're going to do two circles. One bigger one, and then inside that one little one. The little one will stay white, and the one in the underneath will be colored in black, okay? Now, this looks like a happy narwhal to me, so let's follow this line and we'll give him a smile. Just like that. Okay, let's do one more thing. Let's give it like a spiral look. So it's really just gonna be some diagonal slanted lines on the unicorn horn, kind of like a candy cane, okay? Just like that. That way it kind of looks like it's twisting around. Now, let's get coloring. I'm using this kind of lighter blue and I might add some darker blue spots on it or some white spots just to give it some effect. But you don't have to do that. You could do whichever you like. I'm gonna keep this part lighter and this part will be darker, okay? So watch as I color it. And there it is. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you come back next time for the letter O. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you really like it, hit the subscribe button below. It's that red box that says subscribe. All right, until next time, keep drawing.